session, always check my zero. Uh, one shot on this uh, picture of the rabbit, straight into the eye. So I were happy with that, and the rifle were on. I'm ready for it next morning. So here I am, I'm set up. Uh, it's around about six o'clock in the morning, that's what time it's going light in South Yorkshire. I set my eye up a few weeks ago in edge and I've left it for magpies to get familiar with it. Uh, always plays dividends that way. They're used to it then and used to seeing it in surroundings. Uh, I've got a wood pigeon out there for bait. It's laid on its back and I've exposed all breast by plucking feathers. Now only bird I didn't freeze to use as a decoy or a jay. I were saving that to be stuffed. Yeah, we're going to go to a taxidermist but needs must I suppose and I can always get another when time comes. Uh, it's just a case of waiting and uh, waiting for magpies to show an interest. I know there's plenty in the area so we'll see what happens. Here we are, this is the first two visitors. Uh, it's probably about half an hour after daybreak and I have two magpies dropping. One of them's uh, having a little bit of a little bit of go with feathers. Another one seems like it's on alert. Uh, this my on left hand side move closer in now to the wood pigeon. It's having a good go at side it's trying to trying to break its way into the bird. And it jumps on top of the actual breast here and uh, it's made it flew off. Uh, as that one sat up it presented a decent shot so I obliged and sent a 177 pellet its way at about 30 yards uh, for a nice clean dispatch. As you can see, the bird's just sort of settling and uh, minimum movement. So overall, nice session, nice start to the session. Uh, what I've done now is I've, I've gone out and uh, I've recovered that first magpie. I watched a video a few weeks ago and I was watching uh, You'll Know Hunters Vermin from YouTube and it showed you how to make uh, some cradles that you use for decoy birds and it sits them up, presents them really one, well, they look really lifelike. So I made myself a couple uh, after watching that video and this is what I'm up to as you can see now. I'm just preparing it bird to go into the cradle. A little bit of faffing about because it's actually the first time I've done it. As you see I've got bird in cradle now and I'm, uh, I'm just pushing legs at cradle into the ground. So the bird sits up nicely. Uh, just starting to position its head now. I've left the head slightly cocked to one side because uh, it seems to look a little bit more natural when you do it that way. looking something like now just getting it right you've got to make sure you pay attention to detail when it comes to covid then i seem quite happy with that way how it's set up so now what i'll be doing is i'll just be uh, playing about with plumage straightening feathers up i'll pick jay up and uh, make my way back to edge row and get myself back in hide There we go, just a close up image. You can see it's sat up nice, you can't see the body because of the grass, but as you can tell, it's worked. We'll get another magpie showing interest straight away. One's about two or three yards away from wood pigeon. As soon as it stops moving and presents a shot, I'll get myself on aim. Moving in closer, nice and still. There you go. Like I said before, 30 yards, 177 pellet, nice rested shot. No problem with dispatching that bird cleanly. So I'm just watching for any movement now, making sure the bird's down clean. A little bit of a 
close up just to make sure as you can see no movement and a nice clean kill second bird in bag now these birds are well shot on this permission obviously by myself and by farmers so I decided that best practice would be to go out and recover each bird that was shot and uh, that would limit how much uh, magpies were actually spooked during session Now, these, uh, these cows haven't been in field for a good number of weeks, but obviously the weather's quite mild, so I think farmers decide to let them out and uh, get some grazing before bad weather sets in. Uh, there were a magpie in the tree directly above me, but I think it'd been watching cows and uh, off footage, actually one of the cows had a good sniff at magpie, and they're not stupid, they know that that's not natural, that magpie fly off, so it, you're wearing it, it won't come down. And we get another visitor, uh, big horse, he's a quite friendly fellow actually, I walk past him most mornings, so most weekends in field, he never bothers me, as you can see he's just going about his business, crazy, he's a lovely looking animal, and it's a pleasure to watch him uh, going about his business. Uh, there you go, cows are around again, uh, quite close to me actually, there's one just at that uh, in Edgerow. I'm keeping my eye on him because he's there. Uh, this is the old crash field of you quite a lot and uh, it can be a bit of a nuisance but most of the cows have gone down to bottom end of the field now and uh, they're not really bothering me to be fair. I could hear this magpie rattling for a bit. Again, it was the same situation as before, really. You were uh, a bit wary at cows, I think, but he's got brave enough to come down. And again, I'm cleanly dispatching. This cow jumps into the frame now. Yeah, he hangs about for a, a few seconds. I'm quite eager to be able to see magpie that I've just shot. I want to make sure there's no movement there that were clean kill, but I've got to be able to be a little bit patient and. Uh, let this beast move out there. And there you go, I can see him now. And uh, again, another clean kill. There's no movement there, so I'm happy we out rifle to fall in now while I'm shooting. And uh, the day state FT pellets that I use are 10.25 grains, so they do hit quite hard. And uh, I can highly recommend them the, the clean of dispatch, uh, all UK quarry. Again, same thing as before, I've gone out and recovered this bird, hoping that uh, some more might drop into the pattern. I'm not the biggest fan of cows when I'm in field. I'm like everybody else, uh, they seem to follow me, and uh, they do make me a little bit wary, but these seem well behaved this morning, so I'm happy enough. And here's final bag. Um, three magpies in bag. I've just seen three clean, clean kills, so overall, really pleased with the session. Everything went well. It took two or three weeks preparation this, but uh, that's what it's all about when you have covered. Attention to detail and preparation, and yeah, you should get something back.